My name is Olushala Ijolure. I was born in uh, Mapa, what is, what is called Iloke section of Mapa. Iloke or Ile Teju. Iloke because uh, uh, forefathers lived on the top of the hill in our town. The exact year and date I don't know because uh, uh, I was born before school started in my town in 1932. School started in 1932. I was already going to the farm before school started. Uh, but I calculated from the birth we were able to kind of calculate. For instance, my number two sister uh, got married in uh, 1931 and uh, she was very small in stature. There was no way by which she could have been less than 17 years then. Now if you count 17 years from 1931, that will give you uh, 1914. And uh, always three years between one child and the other. If my sister was uh, was 1914. The one who followed her would be uh, 17. Then my older brother, uh, 20. Most likely, I was born in 1923, but I chose uh, one, I chose 1926 because I decided to cal calculate in terms of four, four years. I calculated those four, four years. That's how I came about 1926. My father had uh, so many wives, and so uh, there was no way by which any child could get too close. They just put us with uh, relations. The one I was put, uh, <clears throat> put up with had three others much older than, than me. Um, and uh, one by one, uh, within a space of, of nine months, all the three older ones uh, went uh, away, one to Lagos, one to Zungru, the other one to Zaria. So I was the only one left with uh, the old man. In the middle of that, my sister, the oldest in my family, um, and her uh, younger sister, the one I said, must have been born in 1914. Uh, decided to send me to school. Now, three older ones had left this month. I was the only one left. And now, I was taken to school. He felt so bad that he asked me to get out of his house because I was living with him. Uh, but thank God that I went to farm with him. I learned to drink water early in the morning from him. Stark illiterate. How did he get the idea? It was something that you want to do early in the morning, drink water. I, I learned that from, from him. Um, so, um, I, well, I had to go and stay with my mother for some time. Then I decided to go and stay with my grandmother. Uh, unfortunately, she passed on in uh, 1938. By the way, I started school after Easter in 1937. So, 38, she passed on. So, I just, well, I didn't consult anybody. I just went to the, uh, to the mission house, as we call, call them then, to stay with the pastor that was uh, Late pa um, Reverend D O O K D G, uh, a native of uh, Ilora, uh, near Oyo. Uh, when he was transferred, I had to come back to my mother. Uh, continue my schooling. My 
the Baptist uh, day school that I attended was not um, approved for um, first school living certificate. Um, so I had to finish up with SIM Central School. Papa, where I finished the uh, first living school living certificate <clears throat> in 1944. Uh, well, I wrote entrance examination um, to what was called Okeni Middle School. Uh, I didn't gain admission. I wrote uh, also to Kaduna College. Um, I didn't gain admission. So when I finished in uh, 44, I had nothing else I could do. I started to teach. I'd had the opportunity of going to the then Nigerian College of Science, Arts and Technology in Zaria, the present site of Amadou Bello University, to do A level. I didn't have uh, all my papers and very interesting. Geography, which was my best subject, was where I didn't pass. So I had to do what was called um, uh, Nigerian College Teachers uh, Diploma for one year. That was uh, 60, 61. 61, I got to University of Ibadia and finished there. 64, came to teach in um, what used to be called um, PSS, Provincial Secondary School, what they call GSS now. There are 64. Um, I taught till 65 August. I had uh, Commonwealth Award to go and do a diploma in the teaching of English as a second language in Manchester. I finished that one in 67. I stayed back to uh, do a master's. I came back, uh, okay, 67, I came back. Taught at um, what was PSS Okini, now Abdul Aziz Atta uh, Memorial College. I moved to University of Lagos to teach. Resumed there January 1, uh, 1968. Um, taught there till uh, 70 when I went to U.S. to do the doctorate degree. Came back to University of Lagos one year before I moved to Kwara College of Technology, Kwara State College of Technology. I lost my job there in 1980. Um, well, what was I going to do? My wife said she wasn't going to, she wasn't interested in moving out, so I stayed in learning. Tried my hand on what I thought I knew to do, that's farming. But uh, if you want to do farming and you don't have the requisite money, don't try it. Quite a number of times, I just about two months, no, two weeks and for harvest to be due, or at least for the crop to ripen, they will stop. Why? Because I didn't have the money to buy my own tractor or bribe the boys in the Greek who, when we did the tractor hiring, when they had finished uh, work for those who had the money, was the time they found time for me. Uh, so I got tired of uh, doing that, I think 1993. So, since that time, uh, he's been staying home. Mm. 
1984, um, I noticed that there was a need uh, in Kwara State Christian Association of, of Nigeria, Khan, for a secretary. Well, I wasn't doing much apart from the farm. So I just offered myself and Bishop Haruna was the chairman at that time. I offered myself and uh, I began to work for Khan on June 14, 1984. It to me. I, I don't know why, uh, nobody ever suggested oh, I'm going to get married, but uh, there was a lady that I was interested in. When I, when I finished grade three, she was still in the primary school. Um, well, we kept on for quite some time. We broke off because uh, she said I should be the one to go and tell her father. And I said, no, you found someone you want to marry. I think it should be you who will tell your father. And the process of that, somebody who was more eligible. More eligible because uh, he had finished school certificate and had prospect of uh, going to Forabi College. Here was I just uh, going for great uh, to return, uh, so he was a better option, and uh, his uncle went to the uh, father of this lady and said, "I want your daughter for my um, for my uh, nephew." So that dropped off. Uh, it was. 55 now that I just suddenly discovered. Wait a minute. I had this girl who was very sharp in my class when I was teaching in standard four. So everything that could be done to get her to go to college, I did. Well, her parents would not have been able to support her, but I suggested to her to apply to one of the missionaries to train her. If she passed the entrance exam, she was always the first in the class. Always. A very, very, very sharp uh, young lady. Uh, as God will have it, she had the admission. I think it was in her first year in that college that during holiday, she went to India by Baptist uh, College of Ekuta. It was December that year. I saw her in Lagos. Her father was in Lagos, and I had an uncle who was in Lagos. I always spent my holiday with him. And I said, I said, wait a minute. What am I waiting for? Let me talk to her. I spoke to her. Uh, and I said, well, now, the next step is go and tell your father that you found someone you want to marry. And thank God she was... Uh, she was more uh, easily uh, persuadable. This was in 1956. We got married in My father was an idol worshipper, but my mother was a Christian, and uh, she was uh, number three among uh, nine wives, and um, I think there was one other one after her who had a Christian name and also went to church. I gave my life in 
1943. I don't remember the exact date. Uh, and when we completed the course, what the Baptist will say, baptizing you is upon the of your confession of faith. I baptize you in the name of God, the Father, the uh, Son, and the Holy Spirit. This was around Easter 1943. When I came in contact with the Pentecostalism, I decided that I needed to renew that commitment. That was 19... 1981. That was 1981, October 1981. That's my story. We were on the field in the evening playing ball, I think, and I had shh by my side. I didn't know what it was. Then one man was coming, a hunter. Apparently he was trying to test his gun. So when he shot what he thought was a mark, the thing didn't hit the mark. That was what, uh, it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been uh, more distant than say two inches from <laughs> my ear. That again, I, it's, it's not easy to forget because it could quite easily have got my head. The day my number two baby came, I had uh, an accident in my vehicle. That was why her name is Oluwa Yomi. Uh, even if I wanted to see, I forget what I see her. <laughs> Why did I call her only why you mean? The number one one thing, the number one number one thing is God's grace. I cannot explain it beyond God's grace. Yes, I think my father lived, uh, must have lived definitely more than 90 years. My mother clearly more than 101. Uh, so you could say biologically, uh, I also have something to uh, think was part of uh, <clears throat> the factors. My number two sister also died at 101. My number one sister, I think, died at 74, 75. So, to some extent, uh, biologically, uh, traces of longevity, but I don't want to stand on that. It is the grace of God. Well, what do I do? One thing is that I resolved when I was teaching at Kuala College of Technology, whatever anybody might do, I was not going to be responsible, responsible for my own death. What I meant by that was that I was not going to worry about anything, no matter whatever. I wasn't going to let myself lose my sleep for anything. Uh, whatever I could do before uh, the day closes, I'll stop it there. There's nobody who could ever finish everything there is to do. So I don't worry myself. And uh, well, I mentioned learning to drink water very early in life. God has helped me to kind of discipline myself about food. <laughs> I come from a place where pounded yam is the staple food. 
But I stopped eating pounded yam in 1943. Why? Uh, 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 promotion examinations that time came in December. I noticed that October, November, I was sluggish in the head. So I just told my mother, no more pounded yam. When they cook the yam, before they pound, go and take my own. Well, I could use oil to eat it or just ordinary um, salt. It was only recently that somebody told me that uh, Yam is lighter than pounded yam. <laughs> the pounded yam is more compounded, starch-wise. Hmm. Well, I didn't know anything about diet or no diet when I stopped eating meat in 1971. I got back from school and I told my wife I was not going to eat meat anymore. Uh, is when I began to read uh, books about food that I discovered that that was a very wise decision to take. Uh, I've tried to keep myself um, busy with uh, activity, what requires the movement of my limbs and uh, body. What else? I th thought we had more of the fear of God at that time than now. And that probably stemmed from whom? If you fear your parents, you will fear your teachers and school and Sunday school. And you have regard for uh, God because the first Tier of authority is your parents. We, we truly fear them. Number two, we fear our teachers. Um, if they ever said that your teacher was looking for you, not to talk about your headmaster looking for you, ah, no matter however good you thought you were, somehow or something, you feel very, felt very jittery. As a result of this not enough uh, fear of God at home, it reflects elsewhere. We should make this word work because the word is not for information alone. Primarily, it is for transformation. And it will work if you, if you make it work. I'm not so sure that we share enough as, as we ought to be sharing. Those who have and those who don't have. Give honor to whom honor is due. But it seems to me that we give undue prominence to governors if they are members of our church and uh, well, ministers or whatever, commissioners, they've come to worship. If you place them at the forefront, you deprive them of the opportunity of conviction because they begin to think about themselves. That there are things he would do and there are things he would not do. There are things he would accept, there are things he would not accept. And uh, he has desire to continue to be relevant.